Hi everyone! So today we're going to be making this large beautiful snow peony design and I'm going to be going over supplies with you and everything you're going to need. I'm actually going to be speaking with you in this video um, so make sure your volume is up and let's get started. Okay so you're going to need to gather your supplies first. You're going to need a hot glue gun, 65 pound cardstock in your preferred colors, templates, um, the link to them are in the description below this video. Rolling tool mat set. Um, I saw these on my site. The link is also below in this um, video description. You're going to need a, a foam or circle disc that's about two to three inches high. And a lot of patience because this tutorial is definitely more advanced. This is probably the most advanced flower I have made. So please be patient with yourself, especially if you are new. Um, you also can find the cutting machine measurements in the description if you're using a cutting machine um, just to make sure you get the sizes right and everything. Okay, so once you've got all that, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is get all your petals cut out. You're going to have your 12-sided base, your 12 extra large petals, your 12 large petals, your 4 peony halves, and your 6 peony center cuts. You're also going to need um, a styrofoam like circle disc that needs to measure about two to three inches high and two to three inches wide. This is going to help elevate the center of the peony which I'm going to show you um, as we get to that point in the video. So go ahead and get all your petals cut out. We're going to start with the bottom most part of the peony. So you're going to start with your extra large and your large petals. And what we're going to do first is we're going to cut about an inch and a half to two inch slit at the bottom of the petal. You're going to do this with all the extra large petals and all of the large petals. Then for each one, you're going to uh, pick each petal up and you're going to add a, a dot of glue to the inner side of the slit you just cut and you're going to slightly overlap. This helps our petals stand up when we add them to the flower. You're then going to curl inwards. You can use a wood dowel, you can use a marker, pencil, anything you have on hand to curl with. You're going to repeat this with all 12 extra large and all 12 large petals. So you're going to see me go through this, but I'm going to fast forward a little bit so that we can just get to the part where all my petals are assembled and you can do the same. Okay, so now we have our 12 extra large and our 12 large petals all uh, cut with slits, overlapped, and curled inwards. And we're ready to start building the bottom of the peony. So go ahead and grab your 12-sided uh, base that comes with the templates. Each side represents where we're going to glue a petal. Let's go ahead and add glue to the back bottom side of the petal and glue it to the 12-sided base on one of the sides. You want to come in about maybe 3 quarters of an inch into the base. You're going to do this with all 12 petals. This is the relatively easy and repetitive part of this tutorial. Like I said earlier, this is a, a more advanced flower, but this part is uh, pretty basic like most of our, my other flower designs. As we move on more in this video, you're going to see that it will get more advanced. So again, please be patient with yourself, especially if you're a, a newbie to paper flowers because this is definitely my longest and most advanced tutorial I've done.
All right, so go ahead and add in your last petal, and you should have all 12 extra large petals on the base now. You're probably gonna notice that the flower is kind of floppy. It's gonna kind of be like all over the place, and when you try and pick it up, it might try to like kind of fall open. We're gonna fix that now. We're going to actually add a little bit of glue to each petal about maybe two to three inches up, and you're gonna overlap it very slightly to the petal right next to it. They should naturally kind of push together just because the flower is going to want to hold together. And just go around and add a little dot of glue right at the edge and just overlap, push together, and move on to the next petal. Do this with all 12 petals because once we get that put in there, that little, little bit of glue holding it in, it's going to keep the flower from kind of flopping outwards, which is what we want because the peony is going to be a very uh, kind of curled inward closed looking flower. It has a lot of depth to it. Okay, so I'm just closing up my last couple petals now. And you should notice at this point when you go to pick up the flower now, it stays together and it's not it's not gonna flop open and expand. It's, it should stay kind of nice and tight. You can kind of curl the petals in a little bit more at this point if you would like to. Now we're moving on to our large petals, which we made the same way as the extra large petals. You're going to want to glue them in between each of the extra large petals that are below them. Just add some glue to the back bottom side of the petal and come in about another half to three quarters of an inch into the flower and press it in between two of the extra large petals. You're going to do this with all 12 large petals until you've gone around the inside of the flower again. Still pretty basic and repetitive at this point as we're putting in our 12 large petals, but we're about to get to the center which gets a little bit more interesting. Okay, so I'm just gluing in my final couple petals here of the large petals and finishing it up. For your last petal, kind of try and like see if you can tuck it underneath the first petal on one side a little bit and it kind of makes a more seamless look. You can mess with them a little bit here and curl them a little bit deeper if you feel you need to. You should have something that kind of resembles this at this point. Set it aside for now because we're going to work on the center next. To start the center, we're going to begin with the uh, four peony halves that you cut out. We're going to be gluing two of them together, overlapping at the center circle point. You're going to add some glue to the middle of the circle and then overlap the other petal piece on top of it. Go ahead and set this one aside and then repeat the same thing with the other two petals. The next step is going to be to curl each of these petal points inwards. You can use, again, a, a marker, a pencil, a rolling tool, a wood dowel, anything that will work it's shaped like that to curl each one of these inwards. You're going to do it with both of these two peony cuts.
So for these two pieces, you're going to add some glue to the center of one and then place the other one on top of it and try to get it so that the petals alternate between each other so that they're not directly stacked. Okay, so for our final petal, we're going to be um, cupping the petals and I'm using my Paper Blooms shaping mat and tool set here to roll over each petal and it's sort of helping it stand up and cup it. And then once we do that with all the petals, we're going to shape them a little bit more with our fingers. If you don't have this, um, you can purchase it in my shop, KitchenColorflies.com. If you don't wish to purchase it, then you can skip this part and then just try and use your fingers as you see me do in a moment, kind of like we did with the larger ones we just curled a second ago. So you can default to that option if you do not wish to purchase the mat and tool set. When you go to do this next part, try and fan them all the same direction. So tuck them all so that they are folding and flowing the same direction. It's gonna help them look like they're kind of spiraling. Once you do that, use your fingers to kind of press, push, and twist the petals together. The step we did with the paper um, bloom shaping mat and tool there kind of helped that the petals react properly to what we're doing with our fingers now. So you should have something kind of like that once you've curled and uh, twisted them together. You're going to do the exact same step again with all six of the remaining center peony layers. Okay, now you should have your six um, center cuts rolled and all folded together. We're now going to layer them together and you're going to grab one and kind of fan it out a little bit and then grab another and add some glue to the bottom of it and place it inside the bottom one. Fan it out a little bit more to make room for the next layer and repeat again. Grab your third peony centerpiece, add some glue to the bottom again, and then place it into the center. Repeat again with your fourth peony center petal. As you work closer to the center, you're going to notice it gets tighter. That's fine, just work with it as you go. Tuck your fifth one in, and it'll start to kind of curl inwards, and that's what we want. That's good. And for your last one, try and make sure it's like nice and tightly twisted and tucked and everything, because we want the center to stay uh, as close to closed as we can. Add glue to the bottom of that one, and then tuck it into the middle, and then Use your fingers here to just fold and tuck the flower together as best you can. Just kind of make sure all the petals are nice and tight and tucked inwards. Okay, so you should have your centermost piece that looks something like this. Again, this is a more advanced flower, so be patient with yourself here. Grab your larger base piece that we made earlier and add some glue to the center of that and then place that most centermost piece into the middle and glue it down. Go ahead and grab your um, base of your peony and we're going to be using a round foam circle disc here. I cut this out of a square one but you can also find them pre-cut usually at craft stores. 
add some glue, a generous amount of glue to the bottom, and then place it into the center of your peony flower. Let it dry and get it set there in the center. And then I usually like to place my peony center in before I glue it down just to get a look to make sure everything's going to be okay and look okay once it's actually fully glued in. And it looks pretty good. So I'm going to pull it back out and I'm going to add a generous amount of glue to the back side or you could add glue to the top of the foam disc and then press it into the top of the foam disc gently until dry. Use your center of your finger. And then you can kind of retuck your petals so they're nice and tight and the center's nice and tight. You can go around and, and retuck and curl with your fingers a little bit if necessary. And your snow peony is now complete. Again, this is a very long and advanced tutorial, the most advanced I've ever made, so please be patient with yourself when working on this flower. Enjoy!